Just because we still don't know what's happening with Rick and Morty Season 4 doesn't mean we can't have a look at Rick and Morty Cool Collectibles. So in this video, we're going to be having a look at the new Monogram Direct Rick and Morty Collector's Key Rings. A Mark V. And of course, if we're going to be having a look at Monogram, we're going to have a look at an entire case. This is what the case looks like, and we're going to have a look at every single bag until we've had a look at all the com components of this case here. Spin around the side of the box. There's all the characters featured on the side. I'm glad they actually went with some of the choices that they went with, as opposed to maybe some characters that we've already gotten before uh, in figure form or other collectibles. Here's the back of the box. Not as, as exciting as the front. And here's one of the individual bags. The Rick and Morty Collector's Key Rings, recommended for ages 14 and up with a choking hazard. A small, Some small parts, not for children under 3 years of age, and of course it contains one Collector's Key Ring. The back of the bag gives us all the characters that we are going to be expecting to get inside this box, consisting of Rick, Morty, Slug from Slippery Step, Summer, Beth, Mech Rick, Mech Morty, Butter Robot, Grom, Gromflamite, Gromflamite, Exclusive A, and Exclusive B. Very interesting to see all the things that we're going to be getting inside. Head over to www.monogramdirect.com if you want to check out some other cool collectibles from Monogram. You can also find these in most retail stores, comic stores, and you can also find them at Hot Topic. Without further ado, I'm going to grab myself a knife, a kniffy, to get these opened up. And I think we're going to go with Big Mama Red. Why? Because she's still here. Let's go ahead and open up the first bag and see what we got inside. We are treated to a piece of cardboard, which is strange to be getting inside. I don't think we've actually gotten cardboard before. Not that I'm going to spend a lot of time thinking about this. The first one we have is obviously Little Tiny Morty. Little tiny legs, little soft legs, soft arms. Is extremely surprised is the best way I can describe poor Morty here. Oh, gee, Rick, I don't know. <laughs> he's got a little keychain of, well, uh, not a little keychain, but he's got a keychain plugged into the top of his little tiny head. A very cool looking collectible. There's the back of it. <laughs> Love Morty. Uh, we'll put the cardboard to the side. We'll put the packaging to the side because we don't need that anymore. And let's go ahead and try our best not to drop the knife. Open up bag number two. I keep stopping now having to take these cardboard inserts out. Uh, next one we have is Summer. Digging so far, actually, the expression on all these. Well, I say all of these. We've only looked at two of them so far. But at least that they don't have very monotone, very neutral faces Not monotone that's voices but there's summer and there's morty i'm looking at the back here i'm trying to deduce what the exclusive a and exclusive b are hmm if anybody has any ideas let me know down below of course it's irrelevant if you let me know down below because probably you comment at the very end of the video and we may already know what that is any who's, let's go ahead and open up bag number three. And this big Mama Red is still here. I was hoping that she was going to leave, but we don't always get what we want in life. Uh, next we have is the Butter Robot. A nice departure from the two human characters that we've gotten so far. A little treadmill, uh, tank tread happening, action happening there. These are a little bit smaller, I must say, than some of the other uh, collectible vinyl figures, uh, key rings that we've gotten from Monogram. But there's definitely charm to be said for these. Uh, all of them, whether they are the, uh, the Monogram Rick and Morty or their Monogram other keychains, are all made of this soft, rubbery material. Very durable, I have to admit. Granted, these, these particular ones here, because they have a little bit more spindly parts, could be a little bit more fragile, but I think for the most part, they're still going to be pretty durable. There's something somewhat rewarding about opening up the, uh, the monogram stuff, because normally you always get, like, plastic stuff. It's nice to actually open up something and it, and it be a completely different material. 
because they could make it out of jello as well but jello won't last as long as the this rubber material that they use i say rubber material i'd actually really like to know what it is i think it's i think it is rubber it could also be a very soft vinyl i don't think that's soft vinyl i don't think that's possible it's probably like a rubber sort of material that they use for it as we talk away we've got ourselves another morty to add to the collection a collection that actually is growing right over here as we speak over the course of this video even if you mute the video which i don't really know why you mute this guy's voice but if you mute the video and sped it up you would progressively see this filling up well maybe not up to here but it would be filling up over to the left approximately 24 bags I think is the on average amount of what you get inside all of these unboxings when we do the monogram stuff it's usually about 24 packs inside and the unboxing is a great way for me to show you as well uh, how many you get of each character so right now if you were doing a tally count let's say you had yourself a clipboard with a piece of paper on it that would be important and you had yourself a pencil which I've always seen people kind of lick the pencil before they start writing something or licking a pen I guess licking the pen kind of gets the ink flowing usually also means too that somebody's not going to want to use your pen an observation I've made if I see somebody licking the tip of their pen two thoughts cross my mind the first one being I can't I can't think that that ink is good for you it's probably toxic the other thought I think is congratulations that pen is yours for life at least I'm not going to touch that pen uh, we have ourselves another summer I can't help but notice that she's still got a little bit of rubber kind of in between which is somewhat funny because it actually looks like she's got another pair of small legs little tiny legs happening right there don't want to no, I don't want to gamble taking that ripping that off another summer luckily this summer here sans le mini, mini legs no mini legs happening here with this summer that gives us by the way two summers two mortys two butter robots i was going for a dramatic pause in between each one of those opening a bag number where are we at we are looking at bag number seven i suppose and finally the man with the plan the man with slop all over his face Good old Rick. Rick can now be joined with Mar uh, Morty. They can go on portaling adventures, time traveling adventures, whatever whatever plan Rick may have in place. I want to sound somewhat biased. I'm ultimately probably going to sound that that way when I say it. Uh, I think my favorite might be so far Rick. <laughs> no surprise. I mean, it's, a, it's Rick and Morty. I love this. I definitely think Rick looks good. He probably turned out so far the best and again like looking at the back of the packaging could anyone top that hmm maybe a gromflamite might I don't know it is still exclusive a and exclusive B there's always those possibilities as well we continue on our way everybody together forever and the next one we have is the slug from slippery step I was gonna say slope <laughs> It was actually one of my, uh, not one of my favorite episodes, but of the earlier season, uh, that was one of my favorite episodes. The <laughs> slug. Hop on my back. I don't know. I'm not going to quote it verbatim. I just hop on my back. I'll take you down the stairs. <laughs> kind of looks like a pizza. Now looking at this, I have all of a sudden lost an interest or appeal in getting myself a pizza. Thank you. Thank you, Slug from Slippery Step. I keep wanting to say slope. Let's grab ourselves the next bag, shall we? And it's funny that just through small conversation that we're having back and forth, I guess more so from me to you, because you could be talking away. I, I can't hear anything. Uh, no, I don't have to get my ears checked. I just don't have that luxury of being able to hear you talking to me. So you could pretty much just be saying anything. Sorry, what did you... No, I did. Wouldn't that be awesome? No, I, I can't hear you. I can't hear. I can't hear nothing. Next one we have is Mech Rick. To go along with regular Rick. About the same type of figure, really. 
I feel like the skin tone is a little bit lighter than this one here. This one's a little bit more grayish, a little bit more purplish in color. What other characters would you like to see? Obviously, if this is Series 1, one would make a good assumption by assuming that they probably already have Series 2 in mind. I mean, there's lots of interesting... Rick and Morty's universe is filled to the brim with interesting characters. So it'd be neat to see what they have in store for a Series 2. And it actually, it does say Series 1. It says right there. Seri series 1. See? Right there. To go along with that, we've got ourselves another Rick. Front, back, bald spot visible right there. Happens to all of us, eventually, sooner or later. There's Rick. Just adding some sound effects. No, that actually didn't come from him. That was me, if you could believe it. Yes, Big Bummer Red is still in this review, or as we continue our journey through Rick and Morty, figural key rings or collector's key rings from the monogram, which again you can find in comic book stores, retail stores. Why is this stuck? What's stuck in here? Why is this stuck? Hello? Hello? I just, I want to, I want to take you out. Not on a date, just to show you around. See? Everybody? Rick? Rick? Guys, everybody, this is, this is my friend Rick. Don't you just hate that? You go into a party or outing with people, around people that you don't know. You just kind of want to slip in, just kind of blend in into the back, maybe be the guy that's standing by the table eating the hors d'oeuvres. You don't really want to get involved. And then there's always your buddy that brings you in and says, hey, hey everybody, everybody, this is this is my friend. Hey, hey, hi, how you doing? How you doing? It's not sincere. <laughs> it's not even close to being sincere. Then they're like, hey, hey, what, what was your name again? Come on over here. And like, we're, we're just talking about uh, politics. I'm just like, actually, you know what? Uh, that sounds good. I think I'm going to stay over by the salsa table. Apparently, for this party, the party planner decided that the entire table should just be various salsas. Different salsas from all over the world. I don't think that's the most exciting of things to be serving your patrons, people that are coming over to your house. But what do I know? I'm not a party planner. I open up boxes of cool collectibles. I think I actually have... I think this is cooler, actually. Uh, next one we have is Beth. Beth. There's the front of it. There, well, there's there's the back of Beth. There's the front of Beth. Back and front. I will say this now, just in case I forget later. If you guys want to check out some other cool Rick and Morty collectibles and other reviews, I've got a playlist on this channel, if you can believe it. Here he goes talking about those playlists again. Always talking about those playlists. I've got a playlist on this channel, if you could believe it, gents and ladies, titled Rick and Morty. So if you want to go back and have a look at all the Rick and Morty stuff that I've done, you'll find it there. Lots of videos, lots of stuff, lots of videos in general, always on this channel. Plug, 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 plug. Next one we have is Summer, another Summer. This is now Three Summers. Three Summers. Speaking of Summers, not my favorite season. Anybody want to take a guess what my favorite season is? Anybody? Most people probably would guess this right. Fall is my favorite season. You get to get dressed up, for starters. Not that I'm going to be going out in a three-piece suit. You get to get dressed up. You don't have to wear, like, you know, when it gets too hot and muggy outside. Ugh, you just want to wear shorts, but it's like, just everybody's just a sweaty mess. People wearing sandals that shouldn't be wearing sandals. Summer's a bad time. Summer, I find, if anything, I pick out the negatives. I know there's positives out there as well. There's walks in the park, going to the beach, swimming pools, iced teas. I find the negatives. People who shouldn't be wearing sandals, wearing sandals. Kind of be aware of your conditions, external conditions. Do the world a favor, don't wear sandals. Especially don't wear sandals. Well, you know what? Don't wear sandals with socks. Don't wear sandals without... I Just don't wear sandals. Next one we have is Morty. Another Morty. Yeah, I do like fall. Um, you can dress up. Again, not in any suits or tuxedos. And, of course, Halloween. That's that's happening there as well. And 
even though it doesn't really happen anymore, back in the day, new TV shows would start in the September time frame and then run till summer, and they would take the summer hiatus. Now, because nobody wants to go out and do anything anymore, they just want to be on their phones and uh, lay on the couch, they take breaks throughout the year, mid-season breaks, as they would call it, and... Uh, you know they they don't do the they don't do the summer hiatus anymore. Back in the day though, all the new shows started in September, and then you had sweeps seasons, which would be February and November. So if you always wondered why reality shows would happen, like Survivors or Hell's Kitchen, in November and February, it was because of sweeps. That's when celebrity guest stars would happen to February and November. I don't know why we're even talking. What what brought this on? Oh right, yeah, three summers. That's, and sandals and stuff, stuff like that. We have ourselves another Rick. I can realize right now the extra additional conversation I add to these reviews may turn off some. So for the some that are just like, you know, open these up. Just, we, just, just literally pull out the bag, sh sh take them all out, show them off. I mean, that's like, that's like a two minute video. We don't do that here. We, we discuss, we share, we talk about things, anecdotes, talk about salsa tables, talk about not wearing sandals during the summer. I'd like to think I bring a lot to the table above and beyond just the unboxings. And for those that enjoy it, you're welcome. It's the least I can do. Next one we have, by the way, is Mech Morty. Maybe over the conversations as well, you find that these videos just smoothly go by. I feel like no time has passed whatsoever. Jeremiah has just now looked at his watch. I don't have a watch, but he's looking at his watch. He's like, wow, that's that's remarkable. I thought I literally just sat down to turn on this video. This video has been running for, oh, wow, this video has been running for 76 minutes. I would have thought it would have only been, I feel like, two minutes have passed. Again, you're welcome. It's, it's the burden I bear. It's the best I can do to try to make things fun and exciting for all of you guys watching these videos. Another... Uh, not another, but another unbagging, reveals to us a brand new character, a Gromflamite. Gromflamite. Very, very cool, though. I love the... I love how intricate it is, and yet still being a keychain. The wings, the antennas, and really everything for the most part, well, the antennas and everything else, feel, again, very secure because they're not using... they're not using, like, a rigid plastic. There's the front, there's the back. Now, if you were to get doubles, triples, or quadruples of anything, a Gromflamite would make perfect sense. And maybe in future unbaggings, these Series 2, Series 3, Series 4, through the process of doing that, we may actually, maybe we have different versions of Gromflamites, maybe with like ray guns and different things like that. Uh, another slug from Slippery Step. A lot of S's can be added to the mix which I think gives us two. Dough. Or dose. Is it in de toi? Oh, you speak fluent Francais? Not even close. In, pe in petite pe, which is a little bit. Here in Canada, of course, it's English and Francais. In the States, United States, for example, it's Spanish and English. I don't speak Spanish. I don't speak Francais or French. Just English. And even then, at the very least, the bare minimum. Me, me fail English. That's impossible. Uh, we're moving and mixing around. Talking about Simpsons. Let's talk back about Rick and Morty. Got another Mech Morty. And I don't know if I did the comparison, but there's Mech Morty and Mech Rick. Somebody who was screaming and throwing their keyboard across the room. Why didn't you compare Rick and Morty in their mech suits? There you go. You can walk over there and pick up your keyboard. Uh, how many bags do we have left? We've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Five bags left. And through unbagging all of these, I can't help but think that we've yet to get exclusive A and exclusive B. Anybody else notice that? Well, we didn't get it this time around. We got ourselves another Beth. Oh, 
I might even say these are one of my favorites so far. One of my favorite, I have to stress that, one of my favorite of the uh, monogram releases. Oh, it's exclusive B. Oh, I know the episode. Is it just a sex robot? I'm trying to think of what the actual name was for the character. It's like, <laughs> it's like Robo, Robo Sex Doll 2000. It's not, it's not that. It's it, Somebody will let me know down below, and then another 35 people will let me know the same thing. I love you guys. Uh, we can add this one. This is now exclusive B. Something to do with sex robots and a planet where you know the pregnant sex babies, sexed babies go to. No, well, not the sexed babies. They, the babies buy the product of having sex with sex robots. There's, I've added a lot of stuff. I really wish I could just retract now, but I'm gonna keep it in the video just for the just for the purpose solely of the fact that it is actually part of the character. I'm, I'm not just throwing that in there just because I want to. Uh, we have exclusive B, and I'm drawing a blank. Anybody have any ideas? I'm I'm just thinking now. Mm -hmm. Her and him. It's when Al Bundy's trying to think of a song. I think it's mm, her and him. I'm drawing a blank. It's, I think, an amoeba or something along those lines. Somebody please let me know down below. And not 64 of you. Two bags left, ladies and gentlemen. And th and let me also just say, we've managed to get ourselves every single one. Every last one of them has been retrieved. At the very least, I could say that a Gromflamite, I, we still only have one of them. So we probably will get a couple of Gromflamites, I would think, at the very least. Let's have a look here. Uh, we did get another Beth. Wow. Lots of Beths, lots of Beths in this unboxing endeavor. I'm going to put some money, and buy some money, 10 cents. 10 cents right on the table right now, but this is a Gromphomite. I say that because we've only gotten one from what I'm gathering. I'm looking over here. I, we only have one. So I'm guessing a Gromphomite. 10 cents on the table. Pony up. Pony up, guys. 10 cents. And look who's 10 cents richer. Got ourselves another Gromflamite. Outstanding. There we go. All right, so my three favorite, as I like to always do after we've got all this debris and mess everywhere, my three favorite from the Rick and Morty collector's key rings from Monogram Direct, I'm going to go with the, well, it's already in my hand, so I'm going to put that right there. The Gromflamite is my second favorite. You're kind of starting in the middle there. Well, my first favorite, I'm going to go with Rick. I could say I'm somewhat biased with the choice that I've made here, but I'm going to go with Rick as my first favorite. And then as for my third favorite, that would be a little tricky. A little tricky. I, I'd like to think I wouldn't split the team up by having no Morty. I mean, Rick and Gromflamite, at, at the very least, a Morty should be thrown in there. Hmm. I am going to go... I'm going to go with Morty. After all that, I just... I'm like steering you guys all over the place, and then ultimately I just I just pick Morty. First, second, and third. What are your favorites? Let me know down below. Down below, right below this video. Today we were having a look at an entire case of the brand new Monogram Direct Rick and Morty Collector's Key Rings. Even though we still don't know what's happening with Season 4... Or maybe at the time that this video has been posted, they have just recently announced this. So I'm recording it like now. This afternoon, they say Rick and Morty Season 4 is happening tonight. And then I'm going to get 7,000 comments all saying, how would you not? You should have known that. But while we are still waiting for Rick and Morty Season 4, it's not to say that we couldn't have some fun by opening up some cool collectibles from the folks over at Monogram Direct. This was the Rick and Morty Collector's Key Rings. And yes, we did have... And a look at an entire case. That's what we do on this channel. Want to check out some other cool Monogram collectibles? Well, you can head over to their website at www.monogramdirect.com. You can also follow them on social media, which I'll put the links down below as well. And if you are interested in picking these up for yourself, comic book stores, stores, and I guess that's somewhat vague. 
You can find them at Toys R Us, Targets, Walmarts. And you can also find them at Hot Topic, which is probably one of the best places to check out cool collectibles. Didn't realize Canada had a Hot Topic. Somebody told me in the comments last time. So apparently Hot Topic is also in Canada. I had no idea. More videos will be coming your way. If you haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so. Many more boxings, unboxings, other collectibles all heading your way. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.